Okay, I challenge you to figure it out, though. You say whatever that means. I was saying that there is, it is purposeful for an ending because the ending is purposeful for a new beginning. You speak a lot of uh, religious aspects. You probably understand that to be the, um, the seasons in the Ecclesiastics. They talk about there being nothing new underneath the sun, a time to be born, a time to die, like, right? And so I was just giving you another example, pretty much, of the book that you speak of throughout my comments, the book of the Bible that you speak of. In Ecclesiastes, I'm in agreement with you on that, right? So in spirituality, you understand this to be the law of rhythm, right? The beginning and the end coincides to the law of rhythm. In your religious book, they'll say, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. In spirituality, it may be looked upon like the fear of the law is the beginning of all wisdom because in spirituality they're pretty much governed underneath the laws of the universe that you might not see but they are here you know like gravity you know like a, that law uh, yeah 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 it exists but you don't really see gravity but that don't mean people floating up in the air and so i challenge you in your religious walk to really understand the laws and you'll see that they predate your religious mindset. And then you'll begin to really stumble upon the fact that you read a book about you. Okay? And so look at me. I'm in the physical reality. We govern underneath this law. There's a time and season for all things. Look at me. I manifested something that I didn't want. I'm a creator creating. Right? I manifest both good and the not so good. I manifested some flies. Right? And ain't nothing wrong with that because there's nothing new underneath the sun. We're just supposed to be getting to know ourselves while we're here. We cannot get this thing called life wrong. Now, you might say we get it wrong. We go to this hell place without a body that we're going to burn in. Mm, well, how are we going to burn in it if we don't have a body? Mm, maybe our mind, maybe our thoughts. Because hell can very well be a place where you are in right now kind of like when you have a helmet on your head and you refuse to acknowledge wisdom for your life if you refuse it then some people are in hell that's true okay i just want to share that with you be blessed babe okay if you can only if you can